man. I'm... Shush, honey. I'm on the news today. You're on the news every day. I have something I need to tell you. Fish and chips. What? You were going to ask me what I wanted for dinner, right? Fish and chips. No! Why? Are we out of chips? Yes! No! We have chips! That's not what I wanted to talk to you about. Can it wait? I'm leaving you. Well, fine. Come back in 15 minutes and then let me know what you wanted to talk about. No! I mean I'm leaving you for good! I'm in love with your brother. That's ridiculous. This is your idea of a joke. It's not funny. I'm not joking. Why would you want to leave me, perfect man, for him, Mark? He does the dishes. He always shows up on time. He helps me with the laundry, rubs my feet, and he changes the cat box. Anyone can do the dishes or show up on time. Yeah, but he actually does. What kind of hero would I be if I were sitting around here all day doing laundry or rubbing your feet? Uh, one that wasn't about to be single? Well, if that's how you want it, Eloise, this place will always remind me of you. Because it's my place. You're gonna have to get your stuff out. You said you were leaving me. That's an expression, though technically I guess you're right. But if I would've said perfect man, you're leaving me, it would've sounded like it was your decision. True. Perfect man? Yeah, it's me. I'm having a rough day. Give me a sugar-free root beer. No, wait. Give me a regular root beer. Double. Coming right up. My girlfriend dumped me. Really? Who does she think she can get better than Perfect Man? My brother, Mark. You have a brother? Is he a hero too? No, he's not, and he's taken, so quit asking. I wasn't asking about him like that. I thought you and Eloise Road were gonna get married and live happily ever after. Well, you really know how to make a guy feel better. What is it with you women? We women? What happened exactly? What went wrong? Apparently everything. Eloise says that Mark does all the stuff that I don't do. But I'm too busy doing everything for everyone else. Well, you know, you really do a little too much. What are you, her twin sister? Well, I read in the paper a few months back that the town laid off half of the fire department and all of the police force except for the commissioner because there was nothing for them to do. You really do everything. Really? Why didn't anyone tell me? I don't know, probably because you were saving the city about $2 million a year in salaries. Normal people get paid to work. You do everything for free. It's not free. It cost me Eloise. Wait, $2 million? And they never paid me a cent. Well, no one told you that you had to do everything and do it for free. So why do you? Because I'm a nice guy, a hero. When somebody is calling for help, I need to go there immediately and help them. Well, what about Eloise? Well, what about her? When she asks you to do anything, are you there immediately? Well, yes, of course. So, well, sometimes. Well, actually, no, never. Well, it's like the other night. We were going out to have dinner. But then I got a call and I had to go. Or other times we'd be out somewhere and I'd get a call and have to leave. I meant to help her with my laundry, but I never had time. And sometimes she'd get mad. I guess I could see it now. Like this one lady would leave her oil warmer burning every night. Every single night her house caught on fire. Eloise got mad because she said if I'd quit going over there and rescuing her, maybe she'd realize that she should be more careful. So one night I was out saving someone else, and that girl just blew the warmer out herself and went back to sleep. Eloise never let me live that down. I knew she was right, but I just kept arguing with her. Damn it all. I really screwed up, didn't I? I think you know the answer to that. But you could at least disagree with me. Well, knowing is 75% of the battle. Every silver lining has its cloud. She's with your brother now. Yeah, total bummer.
Mark, I have something that I need to tell you. Uh-oh. I remember you saying something like that to my brother. I'm sorry, Mark. I can't be with you. I mean, you're really, 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 really nice guy, and my floors have never looked so good, but I'm in love with your brother, not you. Yeah, I kind of expected this to happen. Besides, I have a girlfriend back home. She's probably wondering where I am. You've been here for seven months. Yeah, yeah. I probably, I should probably send her flowers or something. Well, I'll get my stuff together and go. Thanks for having me. Okay. I'll be seeing you. See ya. It's Perfect Man. He's come to save us. He's not stopping. Wait, is that someone with him? Hey, he's got a text message. It's from Perfect Man. Ah, bollocks. Somebody called the fire department and the police. And you up there, come down from that burning building, you idiot. Thanks for nothing, perfect man! Hawaii then? Sure. You know, I always like flying over taking the train. <laughs>